self-harm, please call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-8255 or visit suicidepreventionlifeline.org. Due to the graphic nature of this program, listener discretion is advised. Suplex City Limits Suplex City Limits Suplex City Limits Suplex City Limits So, you know, that big-ass, long motherfucker you gotta, like, have it hanging out of the back of your car with a red flag on it. Shit. It's Tyler Fudge! I played Tar on, uh, on yes, this did. album. You did. Way. You fucking, you little dick in me, Jim. So Welcome, thank you for downloading episode 206 of Suplex City Limits for March 23rd, 2019. You ever watch wrestling on weed? It's your boy, the King of Bong Style, Jim Vicious, and he's repping the Great White North, my co-host. Yep, uh, yep, yep, yep. He's not here today, you know. He's, uh, he's, uh, I replaced him. My name is, uh, Stuart. Get out of here, Stu. Hey, <laughs> hey, I'm Tyler Fudge, Stu there. He's, he's... He's haunting me now. He haunts me in my dreams. So, uh, like, Lord, don't make me do the show with <laughs> fucking Stu. <laughs> Did you see any New Japan, Stu? Fuck, that'd be something else. <laughs> well, I, uh, get out and go back to your cage, old fuck. Hey, you don't really like chaps. Yeah, <laughs> I, don't, I don't like the jab on jab. I, really, I, 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 like, I, I like the good old white boys, yep. Yeah. I mean, Stu's old enough to be racist against Asians, I assume. Oh, of course. He's got to be. And on that, Suplex City Limits, we're looking for listening to our fun podcasts are found. You can follow me on the show Twitter at Suplex City Limit. Follow Tyler at the Federation if you enjoy this show. Consider picking up a t-shirt at Pro Wrestling Tees. We've got five designs available, sizes small to 5XL, shipping intergalactically. Or you can donate via PayPal, like Deep in Your Snatch, Cody Hatch. You can also donate on our Patreon, become a producer. Like bad motherfuckers, Caleb Morganfield. He's not balding, Christopher Spaulding. Casey. What is Casey? He's the oldest one and he has no nickname. Fucking C Money. C Money? Is that where we're going to go? C Money. We're going to C Money. You're the name of Natalia's cat, isn't it? C Money? No, isn't it like something paws? Two paws? Yeah, she's got like 14 of them. Uh, who gives a shit? <laughs> As a boy, Michael Jericho says, she probably smells like cat wee. <laughs> <laughs> cat wee. <laughs> yeah. Uh, where the fuck was I? Played vanilla. Martin Corns. Be Brad. Brad. Our friends at the Smack It Down podcast. Check them out. They cover a lot of shit we don't like. WXW. Uh, what else? Progress. OTT. OTT. Yeah, they cover a lot of that shit, so check those guys out, especially if you think Australian accents are sexy. Yeah. Uh, also, Max's Garage, the infamous one, Chris Savage, Kick-Ass Keith Martin, the Rice Maroney Jabroni Ty Loney, Insane Ian Jackson, and Jumpin' Jeremy Fultz. This week on the show, we're going to recap the news of the week. We've got the top three, some Mark Tank. I don't know. What else we got? That's about it. Yeah, that's 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 about it. A you know, we could talk many other things in the news, a wide variety of things. Yeah, who knows what we'll get into. So let's start it off, as we always do, with the top three after a word from today's sponsor. Have you ever closed your eyes for a moment and tried to imagine what it would be like if you couldn't see? Yes. Well, I have. It scares me to death. For senior citizens, iTech has designed a special eye test to help discover glaucoma and cataracts. If you're over 65, free transportation is provided. Call this number, and they'll come and get you. Hey, get a grip on your life. Call iTech and see for yourself. Dial 360-8081. Suplex City. Top three. 
on Suplex City Limits Top 3, our top three matches of the week. Sometimes I get so high, my eyes are just close up so much that I think I've gone blind. <laughs> yep, that's, that's that Jerry Lawler. Fear. Yeah, it is Jerry Lawler, yes. Yeah. Just for, uh, for, you should see his face when he says he's terrified when he pretends to be blind. Oh, man. It is priceless. Fuck it, that's a weird one, dude. No music in the background or <laughs> no. anything either, just because like old people don't like that. No, they just want a nice, calm, southern boy's voice. Yeah, they just want a, a fucking a prolific wrestling pedophile <laughs> to tell them what to do if they lose their eyesight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Trust us, uh, wrestling pedophiles. Okay, top three of the week. Why don't you start us off, man? I'll start us off with uh, a uh, quarterfinal match of the New Japan Cup, Sonata versus Minoru Suzuki. It was, it was to me, it embodied everything I want to see in a match. It was, it was just, oh, so good, just sweaty men beating the shit out of each other. But, uh, <laughs> Suzuki works the knee throughout the whole match. Sonata, Sonata sold it amazingly. It was they just did a great back and forth towards the end. They reversed every hold. Sonata wins after he uh, puts in the skull in on Suzuki until Suzuki kind of passed out. Hits a moonsault and gets the win. Hmm. If I was to give it yeah. one bad thing, it was that Sonata, every time he was in some kind of submission hold, he would smack the ring viciously. And it was like, bro, you're tapping out. <laughs> like, fuck. Hmm. You know, if they want to start pushing Sonata as a more serious, like, threat and shit, I'm all, I'm here for it, man. Me too. Me too. His his whole face get up now, like, with the hair and beard, sticks out. Like, you look at him and like, what the fuck? His, his is beard this is shit, though. His beard is shit. <laughs> the dyed blonde? But he looks so weird. It's just, he sticks out like a sore thumb. He looks like a fucking trans woman, you know, with the fake beard. <laughs> <laughs> he does, kind of. I saw a lot of those this last week, and I went to a, uh, yes, you did. a drag show. You it did. was something else. Did you see any of my Snapchats? I didn't see your Snapchats, but oh, I did see my. many of your pictures. I didn't <laughs> realize that that you were doing that. Like, I would have. You need to tell me this stuff, Jim, because I don't go on huh. a Snapchat unless I think it's a set of tits. That's mm. it. <laughs> there are some fucking fake tits on there. <laughs> Not, bad. Not bad. So yeah. Got that. Uh, also, <laughs> Bendito versus Arush from Ring of Honor 17th anniversary. Uh, I was all about this, man. I thought it was really fucking good. I thought it was really fun, too. The uh, the this Roosh is just fantastic. Everything that he does is just so... I don't know, just, uh, you want to watch him. Yeah. He came out in the, the badass mask and the white suit. Looks awesome. Yeah. Also, then you got ba followed by Bandito, who's coming out as like that, I don't know, fucking evil looking matador or whatever the fuck he's got going on. To me, he looks like some El Macho, uh, just, you know, the guys that play the guitars. Yeah. What was Antonio Maybe. Banderas in that movie? Whatever the what, fuck. From the I don't know. From, uh, from uh, uh, I don't know, man, one where he's carrying the little guitar. It doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> we're in a tiny suit. Bum, bum, ba -da. <laughs> you take a turn, and then you fucking find out, shit, this is a dead end. <laughs> yeah, happens to me all the time. <laughs> yeah, I call uh, them potholes. <laughs> That this was a great fucking match. Uh, as we said, though, I don't. I didn't get putting these two guys together. I don't get beaten Bandito already. No, I don't know. No, I, I agree completely. Uh, with this set up uh, Roosh and Dalton Castle at uh, the the Supercard of Honor. I think this was called right Supercard of Honor. Yeah, they, I think they thought that that was going to be like, oh, people are going to be all about this, and like <laughs> they announced it, and the crowd was just like, cool. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's not really much of a showing for, for Roosh. Yeah, the highlight there was uh, Castle yelling at him, don't you dare Tranquilo in front of me. <laughs> I thought that was good. That I was like good. the back and forth. I like yeah, Castle. Good. That was great. Yeah, he's got that, like, slightly gay tinge to him, oh, yeah. which is fucking just awesome. It's like yeah, talking about big it. fucking sweaty men and shit. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> I just don't know about that, man. That dude's held together with like fucking tape. <laughs> yeah, glue tape and, and shit, super glue. He's, he's got the tab, the, the tabu, the Sabu special. Yeah. It's unfortunate though, because he's like such a great talent, Greg, such a great character. Yeah. And when they finally decided to give him the ball, it was the like fucking... Part. It 
happens sometimes though. It's like by the time a guy gets there, he is so his body is so fucking knackered. There you go, burbs. Um, <laughs> there you go, all the people in England um, that they're fucked. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You see it a lot. Well, it's Steve Austin, right? He got up there, and then I mean, just, just body went to shit. Yeah, it took too long. Yeah, and well, the recent Tommaso Ciampa, right? Like he finally goes to the main card, and his neck falls apart. Yeah. <laughs> Well, because he's been fucking killing himself, yeah. having crazy matches for 15 years. Yeah, yeah. And and since being in NXT, it's not like they've gotten much softer. No, they don't really take too long sometimes on guys. Yeah, and I'm sure Again. it doesn't. It doesn't really help having them wrestle fucking four nights a week in NXT. No, probably not. Uh, and then the other match of the top three, Okada versus Osprey. I mean, I don't even really need to explain to you. <laughs> you know anything <laughs> about both of those guys. Obviously, Okada versus Osprey is tremendous. It's worth watching. Yeah. Okada comes out the victor here. Yes, which brings oh. us to a fantastic little bracket there for the New Japan Cup. Yeah. What do we... What do we have? Well, uh, we're looking at... Let's see here. Where Sonata versus gone? Tanahashi. Yes, we got uh, Okada versus Ishii, and then Sonata taking on Tanahashi. So, uh-huh. which that's this Saturday, and one of those, you know, two will win the cup on Sunday. So I'd assume it's going to be Okada and Sonata. Yeah, but who knows? Who do you think takes on uh, Jay White? Okada. I, I, I assume Okada for sure. Um, Sonata would be really fucking interesting. Sonata I mean, I would be interesting. Yeah, I agree with you a hundred percent. And I wouldn't be, uh, I wouldn't be uh, opposed to Ishii and and uh, Jay White, hmm. honestly, because Ishii is just such a fucking great wrestler. Yeah, I mean, he's always around the main event scene, but I don't know. I don't know if I take him as uh, within the, the story and shit. If I take him as a viable, yeah, you know, I get you there candidate i mean obviously the dude's made of fucking stone but and then you you also look at it too is that really what you want your mate your first your biggest show in the states yeah. to be yeah. you know it's, it's gotta it's gotta be okada i mean to me it has Tana, to be. I mean, Tanahashi maybe but it could be but i mean that we got that at uh that uh, we've, we've gotten that a couple of times i don't feel we need tanahashi Tana, tanahashi won his title at 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 you know the 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 but he, Tokyo Dome, fuck, and uh, you know he got that. I I assume you give it back to Okada now, and then it tells a great story with Gato as well. Yeah, I just want to get to Ibushi, man. Oh, I know, I know. Ibushi That'd needs be good to shit. needs to be in the title picture. Fast. If we like I said, if you can get into Ibushi gets the belt, and then you start working with AEW, and Omega comes back. Fuck. Yeah, that would be tremendous. Yeah, it would be. I agree. Next year, 100%. Wrestle Kingdom. Yeah. Bushi defends against Omega. Yeah, yeah. I, I would. I'd be 100 percent behind that. So there you go. Uh, so that is this week's top three. There were some honorable mentions uh, on matches that were suggested, but I didn't get around to watching, like Walter versus Devlin, which I'm sure is great. Yeah, from the what really intrigued me about wanting to watch that match was the crowd reaction to it. And just yeah, how I saw that. insane that was. So it, it really made me want to see it. I watched like half of Scrapper Mania and then yeah. it just became too late and I had to go to bed because I'm an old fuck. Yeah, an old high fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got to have like 10 years on your life when you're fucking stoned every day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So true. And then if you got to add fat years on top, I'm like 142 <laughs> <laughs> between stoner years and fat years. <laughs> it's a miracle I'm still alive, man. <laughs> I think I've pickled myself. Yeah. So there you go. There is that. From there, let's move on to the week's news. This week in the news, we have all kinds of Enzo Amore being a douchebag, but nobody wants to talk about that. Rumors of Sting coming back. And uh, maybe the Undisputed Era getting a new member. Who knows? Over to you, Jim. I'm Jim Vicious, and this is news to you. Let's see. We've got a lot of news this week. There's, there's I was going to build of off what you said in the intro, but my memory right now is like less than two seconds long. <laughs> Goldfish length. 
Yeah, exactly. Uh, so, well, you know, we, we can start with uh, Alberta El Patron apologizing to Triple H. Basically, he was probably broke. He snorted all of his money up his nose. and Oh, yeah, yeah. Guy guy fucking... Some WWE money. Yeah. No one wants that fucking guy because he's a toxic piece of shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking garbage, so man. If I saw that dude, anytime I see that guy on my TV, it's just fuck off. It's go away heat for me, man. Yeah, I have no, no unearthly pleasure in watching him wrestle. I liked that dude briefly when he showed up in Lucha Underground. I was like, yeah, I can get behind this guy for a little yeah. bit, and then that was it. Yeah. Other than that, fuck me. Yeah, I suppose he wants to get this money. <laughs> AEW is not going to sign him, obviously. Oh, no. God, I would hope not, anyways. Impact is fucking done with his bullshit. Um, obviously, Ring of Honor is not going to sign him. I mean, where is he going to go? Triple A is, I mean, he's pretty much done there, too, because he's been such a fuck up. Yeah, because he's no showed so many shows for Triple A, hasn't he? Yeah, the guy's a fucking asshole. Man. Pretty good wrestler, but just, I don't know. Off the fucking rails. <sighs> I know that they were, they fucking liked him, though. Well, you know? I mean, they, when he first came back. He got that great fucking pop for the U.S. title match. And then it just and all went down the from there. Yeah. I came back and beat Cena. Like, holy yeah. shit. Yeah, like, what all a right. fucking push. And then it's just like, okay, we gave you your light. Now you go to the side, and we go to push somebody else. Yeah, well, I mean, obviously, <laughs> we spent 206 episodes talking about how that fucking, they have no idea about anything, so, you know. Yeah. What do you expect? Uh, I don't know what else we got. This uh, David Starr had a promo this oh, week that got pulled because he was promo. bashing Sinclair, and I thought it was like a tremendous promo. I don't know much about this guy, but I'm fucking in now. I know David Starr. He uh, he was in some early CZW, or not some early CZ, his early parts of his career, I believe, was in CZW. But he spends a lot of his time over in England, as far as I can tell, and wrestling for like OTT and Progress. And, Basically, he's a, the, a Jewish wrestler. Him and Colt yeah, Cabana. tremendous promo. He called uh, he called him a corporate pro- propaganda machine. <laughs> <laughs> they are a lot of people who like didn't know don't know what Sinclair is. You know, they're like, well, they have a black champion. I'm like, they're not talking about Ring of Honor. He's talking about Sinclair, yeah, which the, is yeah. fucking something to be afraid of. Actually, I don't know nothing about Sinclair. I would love to know more about Sinclair. Okay, well, Sinclair is like. Uh, they own tons of TV channels, and so they do, like, local news and shit, local shit. Um, but they'll send these things out, like, must-plays or must-reads, and they'll make all these stations read this shit. It's very conservative-leaning. It's very one direction. Oh, you know? uh, yeah. Yeah. So I get you. It's weird. I like Ring of Honor, but I don't like that company. I don't like their fucking bullshit. And that's not just, like, I disagree with their politics. It's, like fuck off with the politics you know as a company like sending this shit out and making all these stations read it is fucking weird to me if you go on the youtube you can see where it's like hundreds out of hundreds but many many fucking people reading the exact same scripts on the news you know wow that's that's a that's a shame fuck you sinclair yeah Pull me down. Uh, he'll be taking be taking on Jay Lethal in Israel, which should be fucking amazing. I, mean, I would assume so. David Starr is a really good wrestler. And Jay Lethal, well, he's Jay Lethal. He's, he's fantastic. I mean, you put a, Jew, a Jewish dude against a black dude, I'm sure they're going to be all about that shit over there. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, he's yes. going to be Hulk fucking Hogan in that shit. Not, not to do a cheap plug for the Federation, but there is a match on Hog Wild 1996. Where, holy fuck, man, when the fans get their first sight of color, they <laughs> fucking Harlem hate Heat. them. Yes. Yeah, Harlem, Harlem Heat, Heat. Oh, taking yeah. on uh, Lex, or, the outs- no, Lex Lugerns. No, no who, who did the Harlem Heat take on? Did they maybe the take on Buffs the or something? Oh, Steiners, yeah. Yeah. Dude. Oh. Yeah, I did that fucking, that's a really bad look uh, on all those motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, <laughs> too bad she, they didn't have Sherry at that time. They did. They had Sherry and Parker. Oh, that's right. They did. They, both they did. Them. Oh, God. Is that? Okay. Well, we're going back, but I, 
I always loved the the sherry with Harlem Heat thing. Yeah. Uh, that was just killer in the South, man. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. You run that out bucking in front of people in Alabama or oh, something. Oh, man, they, they like, hate fucking, her. Heat, dude. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. and did you see too? Since we're talking about the news, how uh, like Stevie Ray is pushing to have Sherry Martell inducted as well? Uh oh, she should be in the Hall of Fame. She's in our Hall of Fame, oh, of course. You know, but we run a legitimate pro wrestling Hall of Fame <laughs> on our Facebook page under the album <laughs> section. Go to it, check it out. Go to it while you're taking a poo. Yeah, we have 100, like 175 in there. Uh, it's better than theirs, so I don't care. I'll put it against any wrestling Hall of Fame anyway. Boom. So, yeah, Sherry Martell should be in their Hall of Fame. I was surprised to know that she wasn't, you know, to be honest. I mean, all the way back to her wrestling and, like, AWA and shit. She was a, pretty, she was a good wrestler, too. Yeah, well, I mean, I haven't seen too much of her. But she was, she was, you know, very comparable compared to what was around at that time. Dude, she was sure. great in the manager, dude. Like, oh, her and Macho fantastic. was, I mean, that's probably the best for me, actually. Her and Macho. Her and Macho was probably the really best matchup. The stuff that she would do with Ultimate Warrior and just, yeah. oh, man, it was just the way, I just, I don't know. She was just like a witch. You yeah. hated her, especially me as a kid. I fucking hated her. <laughs> Hell yeah, you did. Yeah. Hell yeah, you did. Uh, so yeah, Sherry Martell for Hall of Fame. Fuck you. Um, what else we got, man? Uh, I don't know why this is wrestling news. It's not really, but <laughs> WWE is moving headquarters. Oh, they are yes. selling Titan Towers. How much do they sell in Titan Towers? Is, did they announce that? <laughs> I don't think so yet, no. Um, but they've signed a lease at this new place for 16 and a half years. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So, why is this place called Towers? There's, it was only one building, and it was only, what, 10 floors? If that, dude. It doesn't look, I mean, yeah. So, I don't understand that. It's just like Vince, like, it's a tower. <laughs> it's not, this is a fucking tower, bro. <laughs> Oh man! Imagine uh, all the fucking like dry cum they're gonna have to. They're just gonna have to tear out the carpet in Vince's office under where his desk was. You're just gonna have to start over. <laughs> yeah. Just, how's they gonna move that T Rex head? I don't know. I don't know. Can you imagine but, if somebody dropped that? I don't know why they don't fucking move somewhere logical. It's so weird that they're in Stanford anyway. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, as far as I understand, that's where Vince grew up, isn't it? No. Oh, it's not. Oh, oh yeah. He grew up in a fucking trailer park, didn't he? Yeah. Yes. He likes to fucking. He done everything he could to like fucking hide that and shit. Yeah. <laughs> you ask him, he says he's from New York. Yeah, the fucking skis bag. Uh, so yeah, you know they're fucking rolling in the cash. They're gonna move and get a new fat ass place. No, yeah. To, 16 years is a long time. <laughs> to make a bunch of fucking sh mediocre ass wrestling. Oh, some uh, mediocre is caught being nice, Jim. Yeah, definitely. It's been really bad. Uh, speaking of Minoru Suzuki earlier, Josh Barnett is going to be taking oh. on Suzuki at Bloodsport Fantastic. WrestleMania weekend. That is on my list to watch. So, Oh, for sure. For fucking sure. I don't know if it comes out live. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah dude. All this shit's live on fucking Fight. Oh, good yeah. God. Even the uh, Kaiju Big Battle is fucking live really? on Fight. I didn't know that. Yeah, there's like, there's a good 10 shows, if not more, that are live that weekend. You can get this big pass on Fight and get like tons of shows, man. Really? Yeah. I, I, I'm, sweet. Sev I'm severely contemplating watching as much of it as I can this year. I feel that, man. You can save yourself about 12 hours on Sunday oh. not watching wrestling. Fuck. <laughs> uh, but maybe we'll talk more about that bullshit later. I think this is going to be awesome. I love this blood, blood sport idea, this whole show. And Barnett Suzuki is amazing. Oh, it was, you, oh God damn. Those two just cut from the same cloth, if you ask me. It was Suzuki's pancreas background with Josh Barnett being a UFC. I don't know. if Was he ever a champion? Uh, I'm sorry. I was I was reading. I was going reading up the next thing. <laughs> what was Josh Barnett ever ever a champion in UFC? Ooh, he was not. But he was. Uh, he may have been a champion in Pride. Oh, okay. Um, okay. I mean, he's definitely a top end contender. 
Yeah, well, like, but his background and Suzuki's background somewhat similar. I'd love to see those two just going like because you know it's going to be grappling heavy because it's blood sport. Yeah. There's no ropes, I don't think. So no, they're just going to fucking go to town, and it's going to be absolutely fantastic. Yeah, in a shoot fight, Barnett kicks the fuck out of Suzuki. I'd assume so. Yeah, Barnett's a legit bad bad motherfucker. Oh yeah. Uh, but other matches on this show, I don't know if you've heard these, UFC heavyweight champion, former UFC heavyweight champion, Frank Murr, Frank Mir. Frank Murr. <laughs> yeah, catch you in your rear view, Murr, against uh, Dan Severin, which is pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, that, that is pretty awesome. Timothy Thatcher taking on Hideki Suzuki. Uh, hmm. Killer Cross versus Davey Boy Smith Jr. Uh, Filthy Tom Lawler and Jonathan Gresham will also be on the show, so... Huh. I mean, it's an intriguing card, to say the least. I love it. I wish they could have got uh, Don Fry in there, man. <laughs> love Don Fry. <laughs> Baddest ass motherfucker. Did he ever do wrestling? Yeah, he did wrestling in Japan, right? No. Yeah, I think he did, yeah. Yeah, he did. Go and watch him and like him and this fucking Japanese dude. They just like hockey punch each other in the face, like standing in front of each other, hockey punching for like <laughs> 30 seconds straight, dude, until one fucking dies. It's amazing. Bad motherfucker. Uh, moving on. Jim Ross says he's in talks with uh, AEW, of course. Yes. Uh, claims that his reason for leaving the WWE is because he needs to be more involved. He wants to be on the road. You want to fucking be on the road? I don't know. Yeah, I think uh, I think he's probably having a hard time at home. Oh yeah, yeah. I suppose. He doesn't want to be at home. Basically, that's my probably. You and know, the guy does a lot of shit already, man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we'll see with this. I like him as a talent relations guy. Yeah. I like him as a just a dude around, you know, to like bring us a, a fucking sensible opinion on things. But I don't like him as a commentator, man. I, and <laughs> I don't want I to see, see him doing it, but no. I, I don't. I don't like it. I don't. I think a lot of people agree with that. Actually, a lot of people are like, eh. Yep. Now I will say this: if I have to either pick between Jim Ross and the other guy that's with Conrad there, I'm going to pick Jim Ross. No, I Alex Marvez. I'm not a fan at all. I think if maybe uh, with, you know, they have a consistent roster-ish, and if he's doing this as his full-time job, uh, maybe he won't have the issues he had doing New Japan, because most of it stems from that. You know, he doesn't know who all these Japanese guys were properly, yeah. and he fucked that show. What other shows did he do that were? Basically, just New Japan shows. Yeah. So... You know, and I can understand that if you don't come in 100% prepared, you're fucked, man. Yeah. You know? Ask uh, OG Kevin Gill about that. <laughs> you know? Ask, uh, I don't know, fucking Vampiro. Oh, my Christ. Yeah, Vampiro. He's still doing commentary for AAA, right, on the English Twitch streams? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I, I think he is. Isn't that Terrible. fucking... That's, a, that's an abortion, I'm sure. Yeah. So, this is a Mexican abortion. Um, <laughs> that makes it worse or better. <laughs> makes it more fucking renegade, that's for sure. You know? <laughs> I think of it being a lot less safe. Um, <laughs> there you go, uh, Jim. Hey, there you go. You know. Piss off a whole nation. <laughs> I don't piss off everyone. <laughs> Anyone who listens to our show knows we joke about everything. <sighs> Except for women, because you can't joke about them no, anymore. Not allowed. That's yeah. No way. <laughs> not allowed. Yeah, we don't have to worry, because barely, I'm sure, either might be one. I would be interested. If you listen to this show, and you are a woman, hit us up at Suplex City Limit. Let us, just let us know. Yeah, reach us, to us on Facebook, or email, or whatever. Find, okay. uh, find us. We want to know how many females yeah. listen to this show. And interesting. Then we want to know why. <laughs> why? <laughs> why does anybody listen to this shit? You know? These are questions that we will never know the answers to. Uh, so we'll see how that turns out. I think, you know, like I said, if it's a more regular situation, maybe he will do better knowing who all these people are, working with them, seeing them around. Yeah. Yeah. 
I agree. I mean, he's, I agree completely. He brings a credibility to it, right? If you're going to try to get wrestling fans back, yeah, you know, so someone who quit on wrestling because WWE sucks, if they like, hey, I'll check this out, and you know, all JR is there. Fuck, that's you know, that's familiar to you. Yeah, it makes you. It, it's a familiar face. It you know, it's been proven that 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 kind of nostalgia can draw you in to watch. You know what I mean? A it happens so often. You know? Half sakey face. Half yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Ross. Uh, no, I love Jim Ross. I do too. Also in Hall of Fame. Uh, we had some AEW signings this week. We did uh, Alley, which I feel brings nothing to the table. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. She, also, she looks uh, nice. She does look nice. They also signed uh, UK wrestler Sadie Gibbs. Is that the chick who was back flipping in a Japanese ball? Um, maybe, yeah. I think so. <laughs> They're like, Will Ospreay was mean to you, so we're going to sign you. <laughs> uh, but do they sign men? It's like the last man they signed in this company was Nyla Rose. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's a joke, baby. It's, it's a joke, joke baby. <laughs> we joke around here. I hate Whoa. that you... you Fuck it, five years ago, you wouldn't have to explain after you say something fucked up. They're like, by the way, that was a joke. That's and hope that they, a joke. And hope they don't cut off the clip that they're going to put on Twitter lambasting you. <laughs> and I cut it off before you hear me say it's a joke. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Fuck it, well, like the, the the I know it's a joke, but the, the last guy to be signed, wasn't he some fucking guy from the UK? Could be. That was like a week ago or something. I don't know. It's somebody that I'm not familiar with. Seems like they have more women than men. I know that's not true, but there's. I I think that what they got now is their women's roster. You know what I mean? How many matches do you think they get on a pay per view? Two. Two? Yeah, I'd I'd assume. Shouldn't they get just as many as the men? (laughs) I wouldn't be surprised, dude. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. (sighs) I'd say keep it at two. I yeah. think keep it at two. I mean, yeah. I'm all for having, like, if you had, you know, a five match show, like takeovers. Yeah. I'd rather then have what? that than, than oh. anything else. You know what I mean? It's just a perfect length yeah. to me. And you get five, you know, four or five really well timed matches. And if I had one of those to be a, a female's match, that would be cool. If there was two, I mean, that's the most I'd want. Yeah, I'm only opening at two because I don't think they'll accept one. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, for sure. <laughs> if it's eight matches or something, like a three-hour, eight-match, seven, eight matches, then I'll have fun with two. But if it's yeah. like four matches, five matches. <laughs> I, oh, dude. Yeah, Jim, if I were to say, I would uh, go by percentages of female wrestlers to male wrestlers. Mm. That's how many matches you really should have. Because That's then, fair. The, and and then you t- you got if you wanted to go super scientific, the the ratio of how many good female wrestlers there are compared to the ratio of how many good male wrestlers there are. Yeah, all that I ask for, and you know, a big part of why you know we, I might sound down on women's wrestling is because the WWE. I mean, there's and NXT to an extent too, because they'll push people who have no fucking business being pushed. If you have a you know well booked story and a character that's interesting and she's good, you know just even good in the ring, I'm all in for that shit. You know, yeah. like uh, who are we? I think I'm trying to think about that. Uh, what's that big job bitch's name? <laughs> the big big job bitch. <laughs> what's that bitch? Uh, she's uh, so second generation big ass fucking job. <laughs> I have no fucking, oh Tessa Blanchard <laughs> big ass fucking job. <laughs> she does have a big job. She does. She has not She has a oddly attractive face. So she's hot as fuck, and she's awesome. And her character is fucking awesome too. Like everything about her is better than pretty much everything in WWE. Yeah. But I'm saying if you're going to be pushing people like, you know, Liv Morgan level talents, and you know, Lana's and your Nia Jaxes and shit. You have nothing good there. There's no good in ring. There's the character's not good. The story's not good, and the wrestling sucks. So what exactly am I supposed to be in on? Because she's hot, like <laughs> <laughs> like Alexa Bliss or something. Yeah, no, it, I agree. It, it's I'm I'm with you in that aspect where if it's a good wrestler, it's a good wrestler. I don't care who you are, really. You can be a male wrestler, a female wrestler, a 
transgender wrestler. If you're a good wrestler, you're a good wrestler. If you're a shit wrestler, I don't want to see you. Yeah, exactly. And, and the fact that somebody yeah. would just be so upset because I said I don't want to see Peyton Royce on TV. You know what I mean? But like that's blasphemy. Yeah. Like because she's 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 a god to some people. Dude, I found that out this week. Yeah, you when, did. I, when I quite dared to question the iconics. Yeah, that botch though. Woof. Oh man. People oh. like that's on Sasha and Bailey. I'm like, okay, dude. I wasn't saying like it particularly is, but I'm like, is this botch on the on Sasha and Bailey? Yes. Do the iconics also fucking suck? Yes. <laughs> so shut the fuck up. Bro. I mean, at first, didn't she run right through it at first and was just dude? It's it's abysmal. I don't know. Horrible. But, WWE's gonna do that shit, you know. I don't think a chick being hot and like a decent little thing or good on the mic is worthy of being pushed in an era oh. of women wrestlers and superstars and shit. You know, are, they those... wouldn't push a guy who sucks as much as these women do. No, because of he was not. handsome. Of course you know? not. Those those yeah. women should be managers, not wrestlers. I mean, they're just like diva era, you know? Yep. They're kind of in that transition. They want to be this, you know, women superstars and equality and shit, but they're still stuck where they have to sign people. Like, they can't resist signing a Mandy Rose or something, you know? Yeah. And it's okay, in my opinion, to have one or two of those characters. You know what I mean? Like, Scarlett well, Bordeaux is, is a great uh, aspect over an impact with her character. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, where you got the one raunchy girl. Compared to the rest of the, the 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 athletes, kind of deal. Yeah. Well, they had lucked out over there. They got Jordan Grace, and like I think she is like the most upside of a lot of women wrestlers these days. Honestly, they have a really I good. Agree. Her and Blanchard are tremendous. So yeah, those two alone are better than like almost everybody in WWE's yeah. women's division. Aren't they? And then when you think about it too, you know, having Sue Young there with her character, it's a it's a neat little thing to have. They got Rosemary as well, who's not too bad. Yeah. It's, a, it's a good women's division impact has for sure. Did you see that clip this week? I just posted it's it's uh, Disco Inferno. Oh, and then uh, Ichitaro. Yeah, dude. And I was like, really, dude? This is what's happening like on the impact <laughs> right now. 2019 Disco Inferno. Fucking, I don't know what's that dude's name. Yeah, Ichitaro. I think it's Ichitaro. He's a comedy is wrestler from Japan. Is he actually from Japan? Yeah. Yeah, he's on uh, Cole Cabana's Wrestling Road Diaries 3. I have it uh, autographed <laughs> by Ichitaro. <laughs> yeah. It's like, dude, is that really what you're going to do right now? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. no, it's, uh, it's a little odd. I wouldn't. It wouldn't be my thing. Every time I look, I see fucking Glenn Gilberti on Impact Twitter. And I'm like, I know. What's going on, dude? And why is Disco Inferno <laughs> back? Yeah, like, well, he was it. horrible in Impact, like in TNA yeah. when it was it was two thousand and three. Because trust me, I watched enough of it. God, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. So, but yeah, that is her, because the uh, the Observer says there were mixed reactions to her in Stardom because that's all it's all Meltzer's allowed to say anymore. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just the most pedestrian of criticism. <laughs> yeah, he's he's he's. He's not allowed to say anything no more. Any every female is gonna get upset. Fuck, dude! What a tragic time it is, you know. Yeah, yeah. Just in the world, in the wrestling world as well. I mean, every version of Twitter is a, you know, complete cesspool. pussy. Yeah. <laughs> Video games are like fucking yeah, pussy cesspool. Uh, everything. So, but wrestling definitely is too. Oh, wrestling! I feel. And that could just be because I'm more in depth with wrestling than I am in any other Twitter field. But it feels like there gotta be more in wrestling. There's more white knights than wrestling, I think. Oh, without a doubt, I'm sure. More dudes who've never gotten laid and you know will argue dumb shit uh, and join up with women who are offended about things because they think it's going to get their dick sucked. <laughs> Yeah. Some, girl alert, it's gonna, not. some girl is going to see my Twitter and be like, I'm going to suck his dick. Yeah. He's nice to women. Yeah. No, if you think that, yeah, if you think that you being nice to them and kissing their ass and all that, you think that's what's going to get your dick sucked? <laughs> She's going to ditch you and fucking, you know, go suck the dick of some guy who's an asshole and treats her like shit. That's <laughs> what he's going to do. Because <laughs> that's what the world we live in, dude. Yeah. yeah. You got to be a fucking, you know, you got to be a bit of an asshole. So, anyway, rants aside. <laughs> We're talking about the news. <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> this How did week, we get, like, it's like, I feel like we started talking about something else and then went down a rabbit hole for about ten minutes. Yeah, it's and, awesome. And now I have no idea where we were. This is the bulk of the show at this point. Yes, yes. <laughs> the news is, we don't is do my the reviews and shit anymore. You gotta keep evolving, man. You gotta keep changing. Exactly. Exactly. So uh, there is more. Ray Mysterio files the trademark for Prince Mysterio. We also saw his. Uh, well. <laughs> We didn't see, but you guys saw uh, his son on SmackDown this week. Uh, I, I see he's fucking huge. He is well. He's <laughs> huge. Next week. <laughs> yeah, I watched. Uh, I watched the clip on Twitter. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Um, greatest mask of all time. They, they they did some other filings here. Um, but who knows, man? They, you think they're gonna do something with him soon or what? With uh, with Ray's son. Yeah, he'll be uh, he'll be ringside at WrestleMania against Joe. I I would uh, I would rather if they would you know have him go to NXT. <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah. uh, uh, maybe they'll just use him here for a little bit and then do that anyway. But he's been training with Lion Storm, so there's that. Yeah, no, he's he's definitely got himself a a good trainer. That's that's for sure. And I'm sure with all the people around Eddie in his whole life, he's picked up so much in just you know he, he how old is he now? Twenty something. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. I have no idea, but I mean, I'm sure for the last five or six years he's heard so much. Yeah, I just I don't know. I don't. I wouldn't show him on TV with no, no. mask. I wouldn't mention him for shit. If I'm bringing in Rey Mysterio's son, I mean, I don't know. Maybe is he too big to be a luchador? I don't know. What does he do? It depends, I guess. But I feel like there's so many stories. I could pitch you five stories off the top of my head about how you bring in Rey Mysterio's son <laughs> that are way better than they're fucking going to do. So You're probably going to have somebody pushes him. He pushes him back. It causes yeah, Rey to win. Little, yeah, he'll have a little spot with Joe. Yeah. Probably from the other side of the rail, or do you think he comes down with the dad? Probably from the other side of the rail. Maybe, maybe from the other side of the rail. Maybe maybe uh, from, you know, from the apron. I don't know. I, I feel like he might jump the rail. That's dumb. <laughs> That's dumb. <laughs> Rey Mysterio is not the guy that needs, you know, interference to win. I'm just saying, if you're going to bring his son in, you could do a lot of fucking things. Oh, you could for do, sure. You know, I mean, you could int- do something to take out. Joe could fuck up Ray, and you know, when Ray's out, then his son comes in to defend him in a mask and shit, and he's, you know, miss whatever the fuck I just said. <laughs> what did I say? It Mysterio. Was? Yeah, fuck it. Yeah. Do that. That's way better. Yeah, no, for but, sure. But, you know, that's happening. <laughs> uh, but now that all lives and dies on whether or not he's he's good enough to have that match. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, AJ Styles re-signs with WWE. Not much of a surprise there. No, no, it kind of expected it. You know, he, at his age now, just make the game, make that money. Yeah, so. he's, as we say, he's going to take you know the most amount of money he can. Nothing against that, but more nope. power to you, buddy. Uh, I mean, you know, sucks that you do. I would have, you know, as a wrestling fan, obviously, I would have rather he got back out there and had like one run of just all kinds of cool matches with people. Yeah. But you know, whatever. Yeah, I guess it's, he'll just have matches with fucking Randy Orton and shit. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's the you know I want to see that Kenny Omega AJ Styles match. You know what I mean? Yeah. I want to see that. I want to see that conclude. That hasn't concluded yet. Yeah, I know. I mean, you can think of a bunch of different matches I'd like to see. You know, even matches we've seen already, I would rather see than him versus fucking, you know, I don't know. Name somebody fucking shitty from SmackDown, you know. (laughs) And Andrade. Well, he's not shitty. But uh, no, no, I'd like to see AJ and Roosh. That would be dope. Um, Yeah. I don't know. There's, there's so many of them. There's, there's, I, everybody really. AJ and everybody he hasn't faced yet. <laughs> yeah, every good luchador. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pentagon, yeah. Ray Phoenix. Oh yeah, Pentagon and Styles. I think that 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 could be really fun. Yeah, that would be awesome actually. Uh, I would sign up for that. Uh, Impact Wrestling and OVW re-enter a developmental agreement. <laughs> That's, yep. Let's keep on turning. Isn't Al Snow in charge of OVW or something? Yes, sir. Yep. There you go. The fuck of a trainer, everybody says. So seems you know. like yeah. It just seems like a shit human being to me for all I've heard. 
Oh yeah. Well, I haven't heard bad things about him for sure. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it's good. You know, they got to start developing guys. I guess. I mean. Oh yeah. You know? No, it's it's the time now to start developing guys because everybody else is getting signed up. Right. Yeah, you can't just go out there anymore and pick dudes up. But I still think, even with like all these people are getting signed, I mean, I could name a bunch of great dudes on the indies who have not been picked up by any of these companies. So of course, you of know, B. Rad Brad could tell you about fucking five hundred. Oh God, I'm sure he he's got eighteen promotions pre-booked. <laughs> <laughs> he can tell you. He tell you a bunch of motherfuckers who are great, who aren't signed by anybody anymore. So, but yeah, I mean that should be good for them. They need to build some people, bring some people in, get Disco Inferno out of there. Oh, get him the fuck! Like they managed to get rid of Jeff Jarrett forever. So, so yeah. now they they need to get rid of Disco Inferno, please. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. Sue Atchison, I guess. I don't know. Atchison. The lady is getting the uh, Warrior Award. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's uh, one of the employees. The final, yes. the, uh, the Warrior uh, thing comes true. Yeah. Wow. Maybe somebody, you know, I was like, it's about fucking time. Yeah. Somebody's just like, oh, that's what Warrior said? Yeah. <laughs> As uh, as great as that little black cop and a half Mafka fucker was from last year. <laughs> <laughs> was that dude's name JJ or something? That little kid? Yeah, he's a little yeah. cop and a half motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. He, he was really fun, I will yeah. say. Out there with the gold, Gary Coleman ass. <laughs> <laughs> Webster and shit. No, he was great. He had more charisma than like fucking most people. Oh, for sure. I saw some backstage shit. Was it him and Angle? Might have been him and Angle. I forget who it was. Him and somebody sitting next to each other in these recliners talking backstage. And he blows them out of the water for entertainment value. I'm like, this kid's great. Yeah. yeah. yeah that kid no. fucking, he was tremendous. And, and but anyway, this is, you should see, be You see that place. fucking easy girl everywhere and we don't see him at all. Come on. Yeah. Bring him back. Uh, so, yeah, you guys, so they're Hall of Fame this year. DX. Honky Tonk Man, Tory Wilson, Harlem Heat. Yeah. Dude, that's pretty fucking weak, man. It is. There's really, in my opinion, no headliner. Yeah. They got to have some kind of headliner, don't they? They have to. Who's it going to be? That's weird. I, I haven't even really heard any rumors. I guess maybe because I don't care. <laughs> I don't really pay attention. I haven't heard any either, honestly. Hmm. Well, the Harlem Heat are in our Hall of Fame. When we put them in our Hall of Fame, there was backlash. That was like years ago. I put them in, and people are like, Stevie Ray sucks. I'm like, well, yeah, but Harlem Heat's fucking awesome. I grew up watching WCW and GWF, and uh, fucking Harlem Heat are badass. No, I, I got nothing against Harlem Heat as a team. Stevie Ray, especially in late 90s WCW when he was the leader of the NWO. No. Oh, yeah. But, dude, that team was fucking great. I don't care what anybody says. Even with Stevie not being the greatest, that team was badass. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, they're the only ones in our Hall of Fame. Nobody else from this whole Shawn Michaels, I guess, is in our Hall of Fame. You don't have a uh, one, two, three kid? Not yet. You got to put him in. He will go in. But Road Dog and uh, Billy Gunn, no. <laughs> Yeah, they're not Hall of Fame. No, I mean, this is a difference in our Hall of Fame and other people's Hall of Fame, I guess. Yeah. That's not a Hall of Fame act for, for, for us. Like, but when you take 12 year old Tyler Fudge, super into Road Dog. I thought Road Dog was yeah. great. <laughs> yeah. I was into it until I found out he's a fucking prick, you know? Like, until I found out I hated him. <laughs> Twitter, you know? Yeah, a couple no. of years ago, they came back. And I was like, when they came back, I was like, yeah, smooth, fucking cool. You know, I was all in on it. <laughs> when they surprise returned, I was like, yeah, they, that's awesome. But I totally then on Twitter, that. it's such a prick. And it's like, oh, fuck this guy. <laughs> now I don't like him regardless, you know. So. Fuck your stinky ass. <laughs> that's how you go. Uh, but I don't know. What other news you got? Anything? The uh, the only other thing I have myself is. Oh, uh, I got a couple more. There's Go a ahead. rumor that uh, uh, Roderick Strong's wife might join the Undisputed Era. Mm. They could use a woman. I, I'm down for that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's an easy connection. There's a little yeah. bit of legitimacy there. So. 
Cool. I like the uh, token, you know, like a woman with a group, you know, yeah. who's an ass kicker, not just like a, you know, the a just not just a looker. Yeah, not exactly. Miss Elizabeth and woman in the four horsemen. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, exactly. Uh, AEW has filed multiple trademarks for old WCW event names. Have you seen this? Yes, Bash at the Beach, Battle Bowl, uh, Bunkhouse, Bunk Stampede. House. Yeah. yeah I, we got Halloween know. Havoc, too, while we're at it. I think, doesn't the WWE own that one? I think they do, but they don't use it. No, no, I would love to see a Halloween Havoc show, man. I fucking love that. Best set ever in any wrestling, ever, was those fucking inflatable pumpkins and shit. <laughs> I just like the idea of a Halloween themed show around that time of year because you know I'm in the spirit for like, like kind of the whole month, you know. Yeah, yeah. You, like the wrestlers oh. don't need to be in costumes, but I I, I did no. enjoy a, to, a, a Tony Schiavone being dressed up as the Phantom. I, I enjoy that. I enjoy you know, all kinds of shit. Yeah, isn't that where the get tie came? Was Halloween havoc? Probably. Yeah, and Lois cooking kids. Yes, yes. <laughs> that fucking commercial, man. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I love it. I love it if they do Bash at the Beach, man. If, if WWE is not going to do it, fuck them. Someone should do it. Bash at yeah. the Beach is awesome. Halloween Havoc is awesome. Yeah. Battle, Battle Bowl, not so much. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. You can make it into something. Yeah. but and, and Cody did say at one point in time, too, that all uh, trademarks on these names are not all for AEW. Some of it's just bringing his father's work home or something yeah. like that. So, I mean, not yeah. having WWE owning it. Well, yeah, it's great. I mean, I wouldn't want them bastardizing it with, you know, their no. bullshit either. So, uh, I don't know. Oh, I also got uh, <laughs> the correct Del Fantasma, the oh. good one. Yes, not white bread one. <laughs> he uh, he left Triple A man. He yeah. said fuck off. I uh, I'd like to see him go somewhere other than. I don't want to see him go Impact. I I don't think that would be fun. I wouldn't mind seeing him in ROH, which gives him a bridge to New Japan. Dude, he's he's tremendous, man. I mean, he's lost the mask, which I like that gimmick, but it was just a continuation of his dad's. Yeah. So I don't know. Do you? I think you could pick him up and put him back in a mask. I think that's where he's his best. Yeah, well, if you King can get Cuerno, King, I, I like King Cuerno more than anything he did. No, that's true. If you could get that character or do a play on that character, I thought he was tremendous. Yeah. As that he wrestled almost completely different. You know, some of the shit he did, the way he would stalk around the ring, a lot of that stuff was really, really good. Yeah, I agree. I agree, yeah. uh, and but like with the mask being such a a big thing in Mexican culture, uh, it's it's looked down upon for him to put the mask back on, isn't it? I know Ray did it, but oh, I don't know. I mean, you know, he's not going to be in Mexico any fucking way. No, uh, uh, he's wrestling as King Corno at the, at the United We Stand show for on April fourth. Oh, really? Yeah, hmm. it's going to be a fun show too. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that show. It's going to be good. Uh, but, yeah, I, I don't know. Kurt Angle's wife, uh, among many others, but funny that it was his wife, uh, went on Twitter and was talking shit on the, the Baron Corbin match. <laughs> yes, yes, uh, which hopefully it's 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 all swerve because I do not want to see that at all. You'll never know if it was a swerve oh, or... No. If I mean, there's people say there's rumors too that like they were really thinking that, and now they're having to rethink it. Who knows? Yeah. I mean, they would be that fucking blind, <laughs> honestly. I don't think they would give a fuck about people. You know, I don't think they care about Kurt Angle and his career. No. Despite him being in their Hall of Fame and them sucking his dick and shit last year, I don't think they care because the shit they've done with him when he's wrestled has been pretty fucking lame. Yeah, it's been bleak for sure. <laughs> You know, I mean, but right, like the look in his like, eyes too. He's got a bleak look in his eyes. He doesn't look like he's all there. That's true. We said that since he came back. Oh yeah. But you know, then McIntyre beat him and embarrass him and beat him with his own move and shit. Like, whoa, <laughs> dude. And then have like Drew McIntyre lose to Baron Corbin or something. You know, next week. Like, what the fuck? It's an acid trip, man. It's That's lost. what it is. We might be at that point of the show, but I don't even want to bother talking shit on it because it's just it's ridiculous. What, what, what's Raw your take on uh, 
Kofi Kingston's whole Dion SmackDown this week. It's terrible. Yeah. It's terrible. <laughs> I said it was like, like two weeks in, out from Mania. There's no need to be playing this fucking game. I thought it was too heavy handed weeks ago, man. You didn't need any of this shit, right? No. Like people were behind it. A hundred, like they're not more behind it now than they were. No, God, no. I think they're less. You know, that's what they do. They fucking book shit down. I don't know. It just it didn't need it. It's like if you want to try to build up a guy. You know, like you're pushing a baby face and the crowd is not behind it that much. Maybe you can try doing shit like this to build some sympathy and stuff, but he didn't need it. No. He was already there. The sympathy was there for sure. Yeah. You didn't, you didn't need any more than this. So no. what the fuck are you doing? They can't help but just fuck with it. You know, they're like, uh, they're not a cook in the sense of like they don't make a soup and put everything in the soup and just let it sit there on low for four hours like you do soup stirring occasionally they're constantly walking by and like dumping salt in there dumping pepper in there you know yeah. just fucking with it yeah. <laughs> just leave it alone dude and, you and, don't need all that bullshit no and then the you don't need all that bullshit and you definitely don't need to be playing the race card because they tried to do this for a build of wrestlemania in 2004 i believe with I booker t well, and triple the H. Fuck that it's yeah Right. So, and and if you want to see a breakdown on how that happened, you go to the Federation. You can listen to that. It give you a little a uh, little tidbit. It didn't end well. So <laughs> this one probably won't either. I don't get it. So the, your story is like Vince McMahon is a racist. Like, is that your story? I mean, it's it's true, but I like that you're using real life shit in your booking. But <laughs> what the fuck, man? It just next, doesn't need it. Sometimes it's know, just like. Hogan's going to be his fucking co-GM. Oh, it's like sometimes just a dude finally getting the belt is all you need. You know? Yeah, after years and years and years of being nowhere near it, he gets yeah. it. That's that's yeah. all you that's, need. That's literally this, you know, the radio story, you know? <laughs> that's you as a fan having to put in on that too because you give a shit more well we don't but well maybe you give them more of a shit about a guy becoming champion than they do that means i don't think that means shit to them you know what i'm saying i agree i agree 100 you know? that's why they think they need to put all this shit in there <laughs> but like kofi kings he could have just you know built this up and they could have just had a bad a match and he could have won it could have been fine you know just all this shit takes away from it and you could say that with all this shit becky and ronda and charlotte it's so such an easy story you could have done they had to fuck it up they're constantly doing all this shit it's, it's nonsense yeah no I, I i agree it the especially when you look at you know the the becky and ronda stuff is trying they're, they're trying to build around real things it seems like that's that's their big thing now. They try to take the real and just make the fiction meet the real. You know what I mean? And uh, but what they're doing is just playing on the the worst types of fiction you could try to make real. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't know why you would do that. All people are really asking for is decent stories and decent booking. Yeah. You know, they're not. You don't have to go do all this shit. You don't have to have people. Oh, shooting and this and that and scripts and it's, it's fucking Russo shit, dude. Bro. <laughs> it sure feels like it, bro. Yeah. And I know about that. We just did a fucking show on Russo shit. Yeah, you did. You're fucking right. What a fucking so. travesty that show is. <laughs> did you listen to it? Our I've, I've, gotten through, I've gotten through half of it. I oh. started listening to it on the drive home today. Oh, okay. Well, we'll be able to talk about the next one. Wait till the second half. I feel like Jared and I organically come up with a way to book Booker T and Scott Steiner. That, like, in the moment, we just get lost in it. And we're just like, do this and this. And it's like, it's, at the end, I was like, holy fuck, that's awesome. I'm I don't know if it is or not, but I I'm felt like it was. Pay per view take two on the Suplex City Limits Network. Boom. Halloween Havoc 2000. Something else. <laughs> fucking quite the show. Anything WCW from 2000 onwards <laughs> is just fucking dreadful. Yeah. That's the money spot. That's the honey pot for fucking pay per view take two. Those are the best. Because <laughs> they're so fucking absurd, you know? Oh, there's so much weird bullshit going on in those fucking shows. Can we talk about, talk about this WrestleMania show being like. I mean, we joke about how long it is every year, but. 
this is supposed to be possibly the longest one ever. It, I'm sure there's marriages that are shorter than this WrestleMania show. I just don't know. And there's not enough to me that really makes me want to fucking watch it, the whole thing. I 100% agree, and I'm so glad you said it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we'll go, I don't know. I just, am I going to sit down and still, you know, spend seven, eight hours, whatever the hell it is, to watch this goddamn thing? What do we got on this show? We've got the women's three way, you know, which should be pretty good. Of course, of course, that that it should be a, a a decent match, especially you know with the uh, the atmosphere and if it's a main event or not. I feel like it'll feel special. New Lesnar and Rollins, you know, do you put it on Rollins here? I feel like you should. I feel I like feel you like have you should. to. Uh, but some of these other ones, Oscar will be taking on one of the winners of a four-way coming up this week. Oh, joy. Rose, DeVille, Naomi, or Carmella. It's a pretty oh, sad st- wow. It's a pretty sad state of affairs when Naomi is the best option. I was going to say uh, the only option I would take would be Naomi. Yeah. Yeah, she's the only one who should be there. Yeah. Oh, honestly, she, the rest of these chicks are... Carmella's a good valet. She's not a good wrestler, though. No, no. She's, she's good with truth. I don't mind that at all. Uh, United States Championship, Joe and Ray, you know, fuck you and you wanted the Andrade shit. Get the hell out of here with that. I do feel bad for after, uh, I believe, Fastlane saying, boy, oh boy, I really want a Rey Mysterio Samoa Joe match. And no, uh, we got it. But it's like, ah, I kind of really wish we got the blow off though of Andrade. It doesn't need to be on WrestleMania, dude. It's he beat him in a tag match. That's it. Joe pinned That's Ray it. in a tag match. And that's on WrestleMania. That's not what this should be. I think all their shows should be, you know, three-hour shows, two-and-a-half to three-hour shows, and WrestleMania could be four hours. And I'm not talking regular show four hours. I'm saying the whole thing. Fuck the pre-show. It's four hours long. Yeah. But I don't know how long it's going to be. The Um, pre-show's probably at least going to be three to four. At least. God. Uh, Buddy Murphy will be taking on... Tony Nese, Tony Nese won that tournament, and I heard that was actually a really good match. I wanted to watch it. I didn't get around to it. Nice and uh, Alexander. Yeah, I'm sure it was a great match. I'm, I'm sure it was, but I mean, how many <laughs> times do we... still don't care, right? No. Like, how many yeah, times do we need to see this match? You know what I mean? Oh, how okay. many? And, uh, I mean, it seems like a lot of the 205 Live fans are kind of like behind it you know they're like yeah and he should get a shot and he's great and everything but i'm really not great but i mean he's good and everything but man i just i have a hard time with that niece versus buddy murphy this is the this is your wrestlemania match yeah dude from all the guys you have in that cruiserweight division and all the guys you could put in that division i just that's questionable to me it's very questionable how can you not book a guy like Grand Metal League who's so mm. fucking good it's ridiculous? How can you not do how can you not book this guy into a prominent position? I will say Jim, I, I yeah. this is a weird way for me to give WWE props, but I feel like their treatment of Grand Metal League has been absolutely perfect if you wanted to fool all of a nation in not remembering or not even knowing that a guy is tremendous. <laughs> yeah. Just like we're keeping this secret from everybody. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of those guys, even like uh you know, Kalisto is you know really good too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean like he makes can't good talk lucha things. Shit, but he's good. <laughs> yeah. I just feel like Metal Leak, man. You know, I think a luchador is a possibly top level guy. He doesn't need to talk. Find somebody to talk no. for him. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know? fuck. It, 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 yeah. he's, he's Grand Metal League. <laughs> like, yeah. He's so fucking good. But yeah. you would never know. Never. You could have paid Conan a bunch of money to come in and be the mouthpiece for a uh, luchador stable since you want to put them all together any fucking way. Yeah. But no, Conan ruined the Max Moon gimmick, Jim. Yeah, so he can't come. We can't, we can't hire him. <laughs> 
Okay, I get it. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it's like it's so funny with that too. Like, you look at the luchadors; like they stand out. They've got these masks. The dumbest idea ever was was be putting them all together like they have. <laughs> they, don't, they don't stand out at all. What makes one stand out from the other one when they're all together? <laughs> you know, they all have like similar-ish looking shit. It, it screams Mexicals, man, and we all know how racist that was. Yeah, well, at least they're not on lawn Mars. <laughs> um, you know, and I thought this whole thing, Strowman being in the, uh, just, the, the, his booking is the Battle <laughs> Royal. <laughs> fucking crazy. I don't even like that dude, but he was super so mad. hot, and they cooled him off like crazy. They put him in a freezer, man. I want to beat up so many people because of Colin Jost that I want to just be in the Battle Royal. Yeah, WWE <laughs> to fucking 2019, boys. Oh, man. Yeah. Such shit booking. They had that guy so ready to go, ready to blow, and they just... Oh, no. they, sh- they pissed that away so hard. They piss everything away. Because nobody can be bigger than the company. I don't know. Kurt Angle and Corbin, if that happens, I don't I don't think that is going to happen. I, I, I will say this now, Jim. I am not watching that match. Regardless, I thought uh, Kurt looked really bad on uh, Raw. I mean, he's. He, it's a shame that this is what this is his retirement angle. Like, he went into the Hall of Fame last year. We got his little retirement run. You know, I mean, you should have done your 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 singles send off last year at WrestleMania, not now. Mm. Yeah. Um, Styles Wharton, which you know, despite despite having like a very short build, at least the back and forth about you know being the. You know, being the chosen fucking prodigy, whatever Orton is. Yeah. Versus a guy who worked the indies and going back Dexter. and forth on that. You know, that's pretty good. But I I don't expect Styles to win here, you know, especially if they're going to make fun of him being bingo hauler and all this shit. Yeah, they're going to want their guy to go over big, especially on WrestleMania. Yeah. So Orton beating Styles, that doesn't do much for me. I don't think that's even a good match. I I never bought the Orton shit. You know, people no. like he was great when this years and and I fucking never got it. I I would say though, if anybody's going to get a a good match out of Orton, though, it's going to be AJ Styles. I feel true. Just as Orton just is like uh, he does nothing for me. He's one of those guys who's just been around for too long, and he's just beyond dead to me. You know, yeah. I just cannot do it. We've seen him. I've seen this guy for how long now? You know. Oh, since two thousand and two. So there you go. I think yeah. Pretty much every, yeah. pretty much every single week, every every pay per view, he does the same shit. Still does the same moves he did then. Yeah, nothing's really changed. He's he's actually taken away moves, Jim. Yeah, he, he really is. Like, if you look at the character, nothing's really changed. Still wears the same gear. Yeah. Still does the same. Change the color. Yeah. Sometimes it's gray. Sometimes yeah, it's red. His, got his whole arms tattooed in like one fucking week. <laughs> <laughs> at forty years old. <laughs> cool story, bro. Yeah. Like I really liked uh, Randy Orton when he first uh, came in. I used to really like uh, playing the video games and being yeah. Randy Orton and doing that super sweet crossbody, that little pump fake crossbody he'd do. Yeah, I used to like doing that, but then he stopped doing that, and I lost all interest in Randy Orton. Yeah, it's one of those deals where you get into a dude because of their, for them on a wrestling game. Scott Norton, dude, it's like yeah, Scott everybody Norton and all those WCW fucking games. <laughs> Everyone who played Revenge is like Scott Nord's awesome. Because <laughs> he was. <laughs> yeah. You could put it on, like, uh, turn the KOs on and go against a jobber and just destroy him with power bombs and shit <laughs> until you get your special, hit him with that shoulder breaker, KO that motherfucker in like a minute and a half. <laughs> Done. Scott Norton was ridiculously powerful in those games. It was fantastic. That's why that shit was fun, dude. Yeah. Yeah, well, because it's obvious somebody in the development team had a hard on for Scott Norton, rightfully so. And, it was like, and it was nowadays, fucking hardcore. you play these games, it's like, oh, you can't do big moves until you've done the small, the low moves, and you get, oh, if you did too many in a row, you get tired, and like, where's the fun in that, dude? Yeah. That game was fun, you put it on the computer, you pick easy, you pick Scott Norton, and you just, like, powerbomb them repeatedly. <laughs> for hours. You know, and, like, every move he had was just, like, the most devastating shit. It's awesome. Yeah. I, I feel like when they moved, uh, the first few SmackDown games... 
uh, for the PlayStation. I, I really enjoyed those. Um, because they, they took a, a lot more of the, it was THQ and everything, took the No Mercy approach, kind of. and uh, But there was, to me, up until they got, like, the SmackDown, I think it was uh, uh, Here Comes the Pain, is, to me, the pinnacle of WWE gaming, aside from, like, WWE No Mercy. Uh, mm-hmm. But beyond that, they really took too much of a serious approach and made it more of a yeah. simulation. And to me, wrestling games as a simulation is not fun. No. No, it's not. It's fun to fucking kick the shit out of people. Getting tired is bullshit. Why yeah. are we not going to get tired? What's awesome about that? Nothing. Yeah. You know? You want to have, like, super fast kicking the shit out of people. That's what you want to do. Yeah. Now, so, I anyway. will say, uh, F- Fire Pro Wrestling do a great job in, with the, the stamina system. And it's like, mm-hmm. when, the, when your character is getting tired, it's more along the lines of uh, the end of, like, a New Japan match. Where both guys are exhausted, you just trade and blows, and you know what I mean. They, it heightens it in a way. Speaking of which, somebody, who the fuck is it? Oh, damn, I saw someone on Twitter somewhere along the way. They're doing like a a new ROM ver- a hack of of that with like who the fuck was on it? Man, a bunch of different wrestlers and shit. They're doing kind of like a a new hack of No Mercy and stuff or Revenge, whatever it is. Really. If any of you know what that is, tell oh, me. Yeah. Let me know. I, I that's somebody like, I'd like have come on or you know promote their shit. I, uh, I've I've always been a fan of the mods that they did for No Mercy. Yeah, always. If you can get that fan. online. Is that I would play yep. that shit all day. Oh, is that like, online? Uh, no Mercy. It's not like online. Online, you can get a. You'd have to play it on a computer. Yeah, but I mean, I could play against other people online. Oh no. See, that's what those. I don't know. That's what all games need. I don't want to play any games unless I can play them online with my friends. Man. Yeah, no, that, that game is basically a ROM. And and basically, what you do is you go into the folder of the ROM, I believe. You unpack yeah. it, and you place these skins in the other place, and it just overrides the ROM that you have on your computer. Hmm. Well, there you go. <laughs> talking about video games, wrestling video games instead of this fucking show. I don't know. There's more. We'll talk about it. As I mean, like I've lost interest, honestly. Be talking about it. <laughs> so, yeah. It's a shit so, WrestleMania card. I feel like it. I feel like it too. Uh, if that's all the news you have, I, I I got no more news. No. It is. Uh, so from there, let's move on to. Mark Tank after another word from sponsor. We're back with WCW Goldberg's in trouble. Ming to the front. Back he goes to the turnbuckle. Into the gut. The Goldberg rebounds with a headbutt. Ming on the outside. Ming gets a chair. Goldberg gets a chair. This could get ugly. They're gonna. They're gonna. Well, they're gonna eat pizza. Little Caesars WCW will get a free WCW motion card when you order two medium pizzas for just $9.99. Collect all four. Pizza, pizza. I'll trade you these three for a Goldberg. Nope. where we read Mark comments from social media as they are typed. The Little Caesars, I missed that era, Little Caesars. The, the, the wrestling tie-ins? No, just that old Little Caesars, because like, Little Caesars is a thing still, or again, I'm not sure. Wait, well, uh, we've got uh, two in town, I believe. Right, we have them here too, but they're not the same as Little Caesars was back in the day. It's not? No, dude, it doesn't taste the same. It's completely different shit, you know? That's fair. Like back in the day when you could get a Bigfoot pizza, you know, that big ass long motherfucker, you got to like have it hanging out of the back of your car with a red flag on it. (laughs) (laughs) You You get a bucket of spaghetti. Fuck. That's that's the little season I'm talking about. Yeah, You can't get that here now. Can't get that here either. Jim, you you now like you, you, you got me wanting a fucking little Caesars. I'm going to get some. I really am. I really think I am. 
you know, if I got a, a an option of like, well, you can travel back in time for one thing, I'd be like, you know, maybe I'd go back to the 1997 and get myself a fucking Bigfoot pizza. <laughs> <laughs> See, the one pizza that I fantasized in my head as a kid is McDonald's pizza. Yeah, we never had that. I don't think we had that here, man. Oh, man. There's still one place, I believe, in Florida that sells McDonald's pizza. Fuck. Of all the places in the world to get pizza, you know, it sounds so... <laughs> well, I think there's like only a... one McDonald's in uh, in America, and it's in California, that still deep fries their, uh, their apple pies instead of baked. <laughs> Like fucking, it's today on Fatty Getaways. <laughs> We're going to California. We're getting fried pies. <laughs> oh, fuck you know. Mark Tank. Holy shit, huh? Susan Badger. A lot of this is about the Kofi stuff, but uh, there's some other random shit. So, Susan Badger says WWE is promoting bullying and they need to stop it. Children are watching and they're going to think it's okay. <laughs> Wrong there, by the way. So, so guys punching each other in the face ain't gonna make them think anything else in that retrospect, yeah, right? <laughs> like, yeah, fuck. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Um. Oh, God, this is a good one, too. Yeah. Patricia Lynn Angst. Vince McMahon continues to display his racist stripes. And if you do not see that, then you are a racist, too. I don't care if it's just entertainment. It's promoting bullying and racism. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Jagdish Lenka. That's quite the name. Jagdish? Well, this picture Jag is like... Jagdish. This picture is him on a... On a motorcycle. Uh, everyone, please boycott WWE for good. It's all drama. I mean, how is this fair? Wrong fair, by the way. To somebody who has just won in all-time greatest matches. What? Yeah. I don't how have is a this goddamn fair idea. To somebody who has just won all-time greatest matches. He means Kofi. So he's saying that Kofi won... All of the all-time greatest matches. Like, no, he won that match on SmackDown, which was one of the greatest. Oh, I thought he was saying like Kofi Kingston beat Andre the Giant WrestleMania three. That's what I thought he was saying. <laughs> Wasn't sure. Right. Got you. <laughs> Kindle Bryant uh, Nance. Actually, uh, randomly, um, the New Day were on Drop the Mic this week. So it was Lana and Rusev, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Lana and Rusev defeated Mark Cuban in a rap battle, and I'm then sure the, New Day, the New Day lost to SWV. That's funny. That's funny. It's WWE taking on New Japan there. What? New Japan? Yeah, Mark Cuban owns Access Television, and he's the one getting New Japan in states. Oh, yeah, there you go. I didn't think of that. I was like, I was like what the fuck does SWV have to do with Japan? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> The new day were were fucking great on that though. Those guys are funny as hell. They are. They're very really entertaining. Good. Yeah. Uh, let's see. He's, this dude says maybe they should leave. I would respect that. Unlike Vince, who has zero respect. Better yet, I think everybody should leave WWE. <laughs> Everyone. Yeah. Even Vince. Everyone. Especially Vince. Everyone. <laughs> Andrew Wadlington says, if I was in the WWE and I had a shoot at the WWE championship, I would give my title shoot to Kofi Kingston because I am unselfish. <laughs> shoot, 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 shoot. Uh, Don't work yourself uh, to a shoot, brother. Uh, that could have been the winner, dude. That could be that could have been the winner of any other week. <laughs> Tough week. Jesus Christ. I had a shoot at the WWE Championship. I would give my title shoot to Kofi Kingston because I am unselfish. <laughs> I love it. That is good. Oh, well, kid, the only problem is you don't have a title shoot. Yeah. Nobody oh, yeah. has a title shoot. Uh, let's see. Michael Lancaster says, AEW will be 10x better than the WWE if Vance keeps saying bullying is okay and being a racist is okay. 
How no. can be another winner? <laughs> AEW will be 10x better than the WWE if Vance keeps saying bullying is okay and being a racist is okay. I mean, sometimes you just gotta hope, I guess. <laughs> Kobe Wright, if New Day quit, I'm not going. Oh, wait, hold on. If New Day quit, I'm not watching WWE no more because I love them. They are the best ever. That's uh, that's getting too attached, my friend. The best ever, dude. They are the greatest. They are the GOAT. (laughs) Greg Williams, they may want to talk to the WWE Board of Directors to address this issue, or Vince McMahon may be sued. (laughs) (laughs) That was fucking <laughs> Kate Fabe's dead, everybody. Carlos Acevedo, the new day is heading to AEW. WWE is losing their fans. Wrong there. Soon you be losing all your high paid wrestlers to AEW. Vince is a racist prick. <laughs> 100% real. I post some of these up uh, on Twitter <laughs> at Suplex City. I mean, you're loosening. You're loosening up. You're loosening Ray's knees. You're loosening. You're loosening. Yeah. I don't want to bully people, and I feel like reading these, you know, might be. I don't know. If you post them up, I don't want people to be like, let's, you know. <laughs> yeah, let's find that their, guy and make him want to kill himself. Because, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> do you ever know? What? You never know these days. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, you never yeah. know what's going to happen if you do something like that. Yeah. Well, that's what I was saying today. Like, they closed the fucking roads down here because somebody was on the bridge. You know, like, it's fucking Friday, dude. Yeah. Like, <laughs> let's give it until Monday yeah, at least. Fuck. Let's Some see how this weekend goes. You know? Yeah. Who knows? Like, you might, Especially you know. if you live this weekend, like, it's your you last. know. <laughs> like, yeah. Just yes ending all the way through the weekend, you know? Yeah. Just don't spend all your money just in case you don't go through with it. I'm and just then saying, you're yeah. really broke and you, 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 you want to do it again. So... Mm-hmm. Exactly. Uh, but yeah, also contact, uh, you know, whatever those are. So, so right, whatever whatever, whatever it says at the beginning of the show. Whatever I say at the beginning, fucking listen to that. <laughs> or message me. I'll talk to you. Uh, let's see. This is a great booking idea. Anthony R. C. D. Well, he's been on this before. Has he? Yeah, I get our C. D. name. Yeah. It says top fan next to his shit. That means he comments on their stuff all the time. Oh. Um, should bring in Teddy Long, make him Kofi's manager, and have promos about how the man is holding him oh, down because Jesus. he's not the white boy. Oh my God! Like, is he not aware that they've done this before? Like this was his no. deal with Teddy with with uh, Rodney Mack what? and Jazz. Dude, they only these people only know about shit that they bring up themselves in their promos or what they put in their little fucking propaganda films on the network after raw, <laughs> you know, they don't know anything about <laughs> fucking what happened or anything like, man, like that was such a horrible, horrible time. Yeah. So, um, dude, there's so many like this week. I could have fucking, I could do this for days, you know, because this, <laughs> this really brought the marks out. It's like some weeks we don't have Mark Tank because there's not anything to really bring him out. But like when I see what happens, I know what's going to bring him out. I knew this would. Nicholas Black says, this is all in caps, by the way. They better be setting up for a new nation of domination. So help me God. <laughs> not the only nation of domination thing that I saw over the. Oh, over well, this week. I doubt. Like, I mean, that was the that was the thing when they first became a group, the New Day. People were thinking it was going to be a nation of domination thing. <laughs> Instead, they were gospel singers. In, yeah, gospel singers and in, in baby blue. Yeah, <laughs> preaching about positivity. What the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> they pitched basically. I think they pitched a similar thing to what they actually ended up doing, and then Vince turned it into that. And they had so over time got it back to where they wanted it, and it worked out amazing. Yeah, <laughs> go figure. Yeah, you wouldn't have to fuck around with all that other shit. Yeah, I remember when they first 
debuted that gimmick. If you go back on this show, you'll hear me just fucking bury it. I'm pretty sure. I pre- I don't know if I was around then. Was I around then? No. Uh, maybe not. Probably no, there's not. no way I was around then. Anthony Rovella. The New Day should go to AEW and lead the invasion. Oh, yes. 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 Yep. Yep. Yeah. Lead the invasion. Yeah, because that'll... That won't be be familiar at all. Yeah. <laughs> you could do it right. Uh, no, but don't do that, please. To E. God damn it. That's a fun thing now. It's like anything is like, well, EW, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Everybody just thinks everybody's going to EW. Yeah. I disagree, you know, with uh, our, our fucking fellow podcasters who are super anti AEW, but shit like this, you know, shit like oh, that, I get it. I it's get fucking why you horrible. Are yeah. I understand like, If it. that's all you see, I understand it as well. But, yeah. I mean. <laughs> I get it. I get why. I think, I think you'd be more confused in the fact of your hatred for those fans than the company yeah. itself. Uh, I will say Cody can sometimes be a prick. Oh, sure. Sure you can. I agree with that point of view as well. Jonathan Hughes says, you should go to AEW and win that world title and say, look at me now, because this is a new day. (laughs) Take a look at me now. Oh, well. (laughs) Because this is a new day. (laughs) Some of these are just funny, too. They're not Mark Tank. This one's not. But just as Lady Catherine Ramirez, Vince McMahon is a racist. Truth first. <laughs> Did she actually have that written her truth first? No. no oh. I had that one. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking uh, this bitch uh, who's pretty popular on the Twitter in the wrestling world. The pop wrestling world. What's, what's her handle? Uh, do not come on, man. Yeah, I'd like yeah. to know. I'd like to know if I think she's a bitch as well. You know, I don't think she's a. Did I say bitch? I thought you did. Bitch. Oh. <laughs> no, I was calling her a bitch, like as a woman, not as like she's a bitch. I don't know her. I don't know if she's a bitch, <laughs> but she is in fact a bitch. Like, if that makes sense. <laughs> so she is. So she is a bitch. Yeah, exactly. Is Marcellus Wallace a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jim. We're live, pal. I got her name. You guys don't know, and now it's just me. So fuck all y'all. <laughs> it's awesome. Like, what's her name? Dude, we can't keep it from her. her. Name's Valina WWE. I don't know anything about her. <laughs> I'm sure she's a nice person. The last thing we need is like, but she's yeah, just bullshit. Maybe it's good for ratings. You know, controversy creates cash. A wise man once said. It does. So, uh, but yeah, but she says, if you truly enjoy wrestling, you wouldn't be bitching about the WrestleMania 35 time slot. I seen this. Yes. What a fucking dumb cunt. <laughs> Great. There we go. There Man. we go. It's been fun. 206 episodes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and our Patreon was just canceled. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's a dumb as fuck take. I don't know if she's talking about the time slot, like when it starts. I took it she means like that it's 14 hours long. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she means like we shouldn't complain if we liked wrestling so much. We shouldn't complain that WrestleMania is 14 hours long. But see, that's the thing. I can complain because WWE sucks and I don't want to watch a 14 hour show. It's the kind of fucking uninformed white bread uh, take you would expect from somebody who has WWE in their name. Yeah. You know? And somebody that's probably never, ever worked a day in her life. Yeah. So this one dude says, yeah, if we get an amazing AJ Styles versus Shinsuke match, I'd be fine with that match lasting five hours, LOL. Oh, my Jesus Christ. This guy, this, this guy, this fucking guy. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, dude, you know, it just... Dude, if you were a true wrestling fan, if you truly enjoy wrestling, that's crazy. These people have no idea what's out there, I think. Like, where do they think these people come from, you know? Well, and, Jim, too, I want, I want to preface you, too. You said that she's probably a nice lady, but she's, she's not. I seen another tweet where somebody, with, like, quoted it. Didn't retweet it, but quoted it. And it was like, maybe uh, some of us that have, you know, jobs have some other things we need to do. And then she retweeted that and was like, at me, bitch. <laughs> it's like, oh, man. You're like, oh, she's not popular on Twitter. Never mind. 
Just that tweet got a lot of fucking traction. Because she's a bitch. Yeah, because there was people like quoting it and mocking her, like me. <laughs> and then a bunch of people like <laughs> who listen to us, like, ah, fuck this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, at me pussy. Is that her name, at me pussy? Oh, yeah, at me pussy. Yeah, All he did was said. quote her thing and say, some of us have families or, you know, a job. Yeah. 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 She, a guy who follows us, Ring Falcon. He follows us. Fucking Ring Falcon. I'm gonna have to defend Ring Falcon in yeah, this one. You you defend him, and you he probably you, doesn't listen. He, he probably, probably follows. Doesn't. He's one of those people who follows us and doesn't listen to our show. Yeah, well, uh, if 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 you're that person, you're a dick. That's a lot of those people. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, they're, yeah, but they're not, not listening, not. so it doesn't matter, right? Yeah. So yeah, there's that. Where we fuck? Where we? God damn, they're in the, like the longest Mark Tank of all time. <laughs> we've we've definitely, I feel, trumped our uh, usual episode length this time. Yeah. Well, we got one, one more here. Um, <laughs> this guy sends this message to uh, Taya Valkyrie. You may have seen this. No, I haven't. Name is on Twist Twitter. It's a. Uh, I don't even know. K L I J S T E R. Fucking knows. He looks like he's uh, from you know from the part of the country a lot of our Mark Tank people are from the part of the world. Excuse me. But he sends these messages to her, and she takes a picture of it and and posted it. it. Says, "Hey, bitch." And the next one says, "Why don't you also post a picture of how you cowardly faced at Brian Cage?" <laughs> next message says, "You low bloated." <laughs> then the next one says, he ha- should have kicked your pussy and pinched your nipples as well. My Jesus Christ. And the last message he sends is, a bitch pussy coward like you can't defeat a great man, all in caps, like him. <laughs> Just so fucking furious. <laughs> oh, man. What it's a fucking right? guy. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. Fuck. Man. There you go. An XL edition of, uh, of Mark Tank. But, welcome, uh, Terry Hansel. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Federation, I guess you kind of mentioned what's going on, but hit us with it again. Man. Uh, Hog Wild will be coming out uh, very shortly. Probably, uh, I don't know. When is it supposed to be coming out? I don't know. We do two weeks. I can't remember if it's been a week or two weeks since the last episode came out. I'll have to check the calendar. Uh, there you go. <laughs> coming soon. Coming soon. Tentatively next week. Uh, and then uh, you know, the uh, Semi Awesome Podcast. We have uh, another episode coming out there tonight, I believe, uh, where we take a road trip and we uh, try the difference between regular burgers and Beyond Meat burgers, and we play mm. smell games. Okay, <laughs> all right. Yeah, it's on YouTube. You can watch it. <laughs> you see soon. my my pretty like face. You- like your mother when I fuck her. Yeah, coming soon <laughs> or never. <laughs> Who knows? There you go. Check that shit out everywhere podcasts are found, mofudge.com. If you like this show, you will thoroughly enjoy uh, the Federation, Tyler and Travis. Brothers, man. Brothers, not from other mothers. Brothers. We're happy and we're singing and Canadian. <laughs> Eating bacon and, I don't know. Poutine? <laughs> yeah, maple syrup. Wiping our asses <laughs> with the leaf. I got nothing, man. I'm stoned. Give me a break. Fuck off. Yeah. Uh, also, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, Halloween Havoc 2000 on the pay-per-view take two newest episode on our channel, Suplexity Limits. If you go to the Podbean page, it's easy to categorize. You can get all the shows by category. Pay per view, take two, other weird things that I started and then just gave up on because I'm kind of lazy. With Jim, Super yeah. C, uh, or SCL Extra. Yeah, uh, fully loaded podcast is yeah. on there. Yeah, well, I mean, fully loaded is not even a company no more. So, yeah, Ringside with Jim. I was like, this could be awesome, and I did it. And I was like, then I had to do editing and shit, and I was like, I fucking don't like this. I didn't like that shit at all. I thought I would. Yeah. I was like, I'm going to enjoy, you know, working on stuff. I didn't really like it. <laughs> Turns out. <laughs> so, yeah, those are all up there. I uh, want to give shout outs, show some love to all of our content creator friends. Uh, THT Wrestling Podcast, Shaheen and Boxman. Check those guys out. Wednesdays live on Mixler. They go live. Fuck it. We'll do it live. <laughs> that's, a, that's a brave task. I mean, like, we could technically do it. 
Which, yeah, well, this is live. You paused it for five seconds for me to tell you a name that, that I just told just everybody. Told the world, yeah. Yeah, these are all fucking one take shows, unless I have to take like emergency shits. Yeah, I mean that happens every now and then. You know, as we get older, our bowels get less less strong and dense, and, and the, the lining of our bladders are are smaller. That's the best THT promo ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! I forgot that he clips those fuckers out. <laughs> like, hey, thanks for the uh, thanks for shouting out our show and then talking about shits and stuff. <laughs> 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 Much love, Shaheen. Uh, but yeah, also uh, check out uh, Shaheen's artwork, nuclearheatgraphics.com. He's got a bunch of awesome new shit. Uh, get a new Shield one. If you're a Shield fan, you can. Uh, you know, this is the last time ever, don't you know? Last time. Celebrate Liger's retirement uh, by getting a Liger poster. Abdullah the Butcher. I got Hibusa sitting on my wall right Ooh. here. Yes. Check him out. He's got a lot of fantastic art. You can also commission him to fucking do all kinds of shit. He'll drop you picture of your mother-in-law. You don't give a shit. I, order, I ordered some for Jim for Christmas. And yeah, he did. He was, he was a pleasant man to deal with business-wise. He's great. Great guys over there. Uh, also, shout outs to Shooting the Shiznit, the boys over there, BT, and uh, So Divine, Lance Levine. Uh, who else we got? Sat Pod. They don't even do shows anymore, but still, shout out to those guys. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll probably see Scotty next week at the Pup Show in Edmonton. He's going to that. Nice. So, that should be cool. Uh, also, shout outs to The Strap, a boy, Lynx, and uh, Sarah. Yeah, fuck, I remembered her name at the last second. <laughs> there you go, baby. Husband and wife podcasting team, owners of uh, pro of Zealot Pro Wrestling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got a, a show coming up in, uh, is it April or May? May, I believe. I believe it's May. There you go. Oh, dude. Oh, uh, yes. Well, I'll, do it at, well, I'll do it at the end of the shout outs if I can remember. Um, who else we have? High Wrestling's High Marks. Check those guys out. Hmm. Oh, and I got some. Actually, for once, I got something to uh, to suggest to check out. Actually, there's a couple of YouTube channels that had a uh, really good episode come up uh, this past week or so. There's one called Kento Bento, and it's how North Korea held the greatest pro wrestling event in the world. It's a yes. great. Yes. Have you seen yes. that? Yes, I did. That's fucking fantastic. Yeah. And then there was another yeah. one uh, by uh, Super Eye Patch Wolf, and he's been doing a couple of wrestling ones here and there. Uh, I think too. Yeah, he did The Undertaker long term storytelling and wrestling, and he yeah. just equates it that nobody else does long term storytelling like that. And oh, dude, it was it was How such a great in video. Our fucking brains is YouTube because YouTube's like, hey, maybe you want to watch these things. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly how it works, man. And I fucking love it. The YouTube side of things also shout out to uh, Social Injustice Warrior. Hoping to do something with him here still. Um, but it's so out of my ballpark that I'm like, uh... so we'll see. <laughs> we'll do something there. He does these videos like real retrospective kind of videos, you know, voiceover shit. And it's I love his videos, but it's like it's so far from what I do. I'm like, dude, I make like dick jokes and shit like while well, high. I mean, that's, how, like, the, <laughs> that's pretty far off from where from what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah I mean, we some there. Uh, I don't know who else we got. Yeah, podcast, Comic Can Koozie. So my fucking IRL friends do a podcast about comics and yes. shite. Cans and koozies. <laughs> yeah, comic can koozie. I don't know. What else we got? Any other shout-outs? Uh, no. no. Probably forgetting people. No, I, I, I don't think I got any more shout-outs. You know, I, Still, I usually give zero, and I gave two this week. So I'm fucking yeah. doing great. Still miss you, Bobby Anthem. Yeah. Uh, yuck Nasty Dog, a baby getting in the corner. Rub your dreadlocks on my face, them. Bobby Anthem. <laughs> Man, I just want to get on Molly and have you just fucking drag your dreadlocks across my face. Fuck <laughs> uh, yes. Oh shit. Uh, one thing I did want to mention that I thought was really awesome. Uh, depends on your view. Maybe you didn't see on Ring of Honor 17th anniversary. Did you see? Fucking Suplex City Limits alum, Mega Ran, and T Call. Both those guys have been on the show. Yes, no uh, selling for, for sure. <laughs> Yeah, that was. I was like, T, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, I, you might not actually be afraid of him, but fucking pretend you're a little bit scared Bro. of him. Fuck. Bro, you 
are a wrestling fan. You know that. You should know that. You yeah. can't do that. That was honestly, I was like, I like him. He was on our show. I love both those guys. But dude, Billy Ray should have fucking open hand slap that motherfucker I on the ear. I would have fucking popped. Yeah. Like, I, I love the Mega Rand's music, and from everything I hear, he's a fantastic individual. But that is. was just yeah. bad. That was not very good. Yeah, just that. I mean, you just... That was my only beef. I mean, some people like the song, so I like the song. I like Mega yeah. I played guitar on... Uh, on yes, you did. Albums, you did. Way. You fucking big time and... You little dick in me, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know whose album you've ever played guitar on. <laughs> I'm just fucking... <laughs> I'm just fucking... I owe that to Lynx, man. Lynx could have done that shit himself and just being a fucking friendly guy was like, hey, you want to... Be part of this, you know? Yeah. Link's Kinetic's a fucking bad motherfucker. I love that guy. I haven't heard from him much. Probably busy running a wrestling company, doing a podcast. And yeah. And everything else that life brings your way. Yeah. Hitting this hot wife. She's really hot. Um, <laughs> <laughs> boy, that's a, that's a compliment, dude. It's just, <laughs> can't be mad about that. How your voice fucking just went lower. Just, she's really hot. <laughs> it is like, she's really hot. <laughs> Hoping that nobody's going to hear it on this podcast. For <laughs> like, she, like if she was listening, she wouldn't hear it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's a secret. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. Uh, Jared's wife's also hot. <laughs> um, <laughs> now sure the girl that Burbs is dating is really hot, too. <laughs> uh, that's the only one that I don't know who we're talking about. Uh, Burbs. Burbs is I don't know. Burbs, I don't know who should either. I'm, I just, I mean, I'm. He's an international rap sensation, man. I of mean, course. He's fucking Burbs. He's, he's tremendous. I'm straight as an arrow, and like, I fucking kind of want to fuck Burbs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got a man crush on Burbs. Uh, I wish I had an Xbox boy. so I can play video games with you guys. He doesn't play. I don't see him ever anymore. Oh, fair enough. He's, he's just a little sick in you now. Listening to this right now, he's like, he's listening to this somewhere on his patio, smoking a joint. I'm like, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I've lost. All I do is, me and one of my homies, we play Ark every day. We don't even talk about what game we're gonna play. It's like Xbox. Yup, Ark. We <laughs> <laughs> got like a hundred and God knows, 150, 170 hours into that fucking game. I started. I started playing uh, Super Mario Odyssey again because I fucking love that game. Never played it. No, I fucking love it. Oh, I God would. Damn. I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna buy a Nintendo console to do it. I get you. I get you there. So fuck that. Uh, but yeah, I think that's it, man. I think we've done all that we came to do. I, I'm pretty sure we did. Yes. Well, there it is. Do you have anything else to add before we go? Mm, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> nothing, nothing profound at the end. Well, that is going to do it. As always, thank you very much for listening, supporting the show, and not cherry-picking out offensive clips and posting them on Twitter. Until next week. <laughs> yes, thank you very much. Yeah. Thanks for keeping all this between us, okay? <laughs> Until next week, as always, may you get all the dick and or pussy you desire. Remember, a winner is you, and most importantly, be excellent to each other.
Can't be.